thank you for inviting me for, to, for dealing with this subject, which is a difficult subject about local recurrence after nephrectomy. I will focus in this uh, talk about uh, local recurrence after radical nephrectomy and not after partial nephr nephrectomy. What data we have? Uh, we have obviously limited data in the literature about local recurrence after radical nephrectomy. We have uh, additionally no clear definition of what a local recurrence is, and we have uh, no standard of care in this uh, rare situation. What is the most admitted definition of local recurrence after radical nephrectomy? It's uh, obviously an heterogeneous uh, situation. The most common definition is ipsilateral recurrence in the renal fossa, ipsilateral adrenal gland recurrence, ipsilateral lymph node recurrence, with or without metastasis. And most series uh, that we have today are coming from surgical series, and we do not have information about the natural history um, about this local recurrence when um, uh, concomitant uh, metastases uh, are occurring. And here again, I will exclude from this talk uh, partial uh, recurrence after partial nephrectomy. What is the frequency? It's uh, between 1.8 and 2.9 percent. You see here that these two series uh, did not include a metastatic patient, but this series include a patient with a concomitant distant metastasis. We have only limited series. Uh, this is uh, one of the largest series, which included only 34 patients um, com coming from a memorial group. Uh, you see here that 47% of patients did have metastasis at the time of uh, local recurrence diagnosis. Of uh, 18 patients with no metastasis, 11 patients were able to have complete surgical resection and seven are non-surgical uh, therapy. Of the 16 patients with synchronous metastasis, five had surgery and 11 did not. Median follow-up was 16.9 months. Of the 11 patients in group one, local disease with no metastasis, three remained with no evidence of disease, three were alive at the time of, pa of a paper with metastatic disease, and five died from uh, disease. In other situations, 91% of the patients died from disease. And you see here that the only group that seems to have a real benefit from surgery is this group with local disease and no metastatic um, disease with a median survival time of 71.4 months. This is the second largest series that we have today, 54 patients. By contrast to the previous series, all patients here were uh, M0 patients with no distant metastasis, and all patients were operated with a surgical resection of a local recurrence. The definition here included loca uh, re local recurrence of renal fossa, ipsilateral adrenal gland, or ipsilateral retroperitoneal lymph nodes. A perioperative systemic therapy was uh, given in 69% of patients. Median recurrence free survival time was 11 months, and median cancer survival uh, time was 61 months. You see again here that when surgery is possible, in this group of very selected group of patients with no distant metastasis, it seems that we are able to get um, um, good um, survival and a good long-term survival. However, the author here were uh, able to identify some specific pronostic factors that could affect uh, um, recurrent um, and risk of death from cancer. It was positive surgical margin after resection of local recurrence. Recurrent, uh, the, the size of a uh, local tumor uh, uh, at the site of recurrence. Sarcomatoid features within uh, local recurrence and also biological features. You see here um, survival curves uh, according to the margin status and uh, the survival for patients with negative uh, margin, again in, in this uh, cohort of patients without distant metastasis, was 61, 61 months 
when uh, margin were negative as, uh, as by contrast to uh, 28 uh, months in case of positive margins. And this is survival uh, curves according to sarcomatoid status of a um, recurrent tumor. We designed in France uh, multicenter studies for identify both patients with uh, local recurrence following uh, radical nephrectomy. We identified 63 patients from uh, 10 urological centers. The sex ratio was as usual in renal cell carcinoma. We observed a predominant uh, left tumor side. Median tumor size at diagnostic was 7.5 centimeters. At the time of nephrectomy, well, there was a, a great proportion a greater than usually in a, um, a nephrectomy series, a great proportion of patients with uh, end stage of one or two, 20 person. All uh, patients were M0 at uh, uh, nephrectomy. It was an inclusion criteria of the study. There was only um, eight laparoscopic nephrectomies in this series, but it's an historical st uh, series. In 25% uh, of the cases, uh, um, lymph node dissection was performed, and we observe here what was not observed in previous series, that there was a, an important cohort of patients with papillary type 2 tumor, 27% of the cases um, who recurred after radical nephrectomy. What was the presentation of these tumors uh, at the time of recurrence? 70% of the um, patients did have symptoms in relation to their uh, recurrence. 31% uh, had um, synchronous metastasis. More than 50% of uh, patients did have uh, lymph node invasion at the time of recurrence. Median time to fr uh, uh, between uh, nephrectomy and uh, recurrence was 12 months. And here again, you see that there is a predominance of uh, recurrence in the renal fossa. 52%, but also in lymph nodes, in lymph node and renal fossa, and in adrenal gland. This heterogeneous situation is, refer is uh, um, translated in an uh, heterogeneous uh, care. So, um, in 20% of the cases, surgery was followed by systemic treatment. In 6% of the cases, uh, systemic treatment was um, uh, given before surgery. In um, the most frequent situation was surgery alone in 36% uh, of the cases. And finally, uh, systemic treatment uh, was given alone in 23% of the cases. In the most recent period, uh, patients received targeted therapy and overall 16 patients received targeted therapy in this study. There was one death in the postoperative period. Overall, 44.4% of a patient died of cancer at the end of follow-up. Follow the mean follow-up for this study was 23 months. Median cancer-specific survival for M0 patient was 42 months. Median cancer-specific survival for M1 patients was 20 months. And median cancer-specific survival for those patients who were able to have surgery was 60 months. And when looking at pronostic factor, we identify only this factor with a positive or negative margin, where, ne where margins were uh, positive in case of resection in M0 tumor, you see that the median survival um, time is 22 months by contrast to 75 months when a complete resection is possible. Now we see alternative uh, methods uh, for treating this patient with a, a local recurrence after nephrectomy. This is a rec very recent series of cryotherapy of is a local recurrence. Cryotherapy not, not only in local recurrence, but also in uh, some metastasis. But I identify here 11 cases of uh, um, recurrence in the nephrectomy bed that were performed by cryo, 11 case, eight cases of adrenal gland treatment, and six cases of para-aortic uh, lymph nodes treated by uh, cryo. A mean of 2.2 procedure per patient was performed in this series. Major complications appear to be minimal with 2% of major complication and only 3% of recurrence, which uh, could, seems um, a little bit surprising. But 
Nevertheless, over, median overall survival was 2.7 years with an estimated five-year survival rate of uh, 27%. Rapidly, um, two cases for illustrating the difficulty that we have in managing these patients with local recurrence following radical nephrectomy. This is a 62-year-old woman. She had a radical nephrectomy, um, a radical uh, left laparoscopic nephrectomy one year ago for a PT2 clear cell um, um, thermal grade tree. One year later, she developed two recur recurrence in the renal fossa. This is one recurrence. This is another recurrence here close to the renal vessels. We decided here after discussion to treat this patient with TKI. And you see here that after two uh, cycles of sunitinib, we have a major progression uh, of a tumor here and here with uh, an evasion of the pancreas. So maybe in this case, we have missed the time for surgery. Another case, this man had a past history of left radical nephrectomy. He developed later on a synchronous pulmonary metastasis and local recurrence in the renal fossa. You see here two lesions, one ear and one ear in the muscle. Certain treatment was started with a complete lung response a stable disease in the renal fossa and a poor tolerance for sutin. So we decided to do a complete resection of uh, these two uh, uh, lesions in the renal fossa. We had negative margin, but unfortunately, six, five months later, the patient uh, had multiple, multiple pulmonary recurrence and uh, probably also a pancreas uh, recurrence. So here we can discuss the usefulness of surgery in this setting. In conclusion, local recurrence following radical nephrectomy is rare. In case of isolated local recurrence and absence of metastatic disease, complete surgical resection remains the best option for obtaining prolonged survival. The role of targeted therapy in this setting uh, is still to be uh, clarified. And in case of synchronous distant metastasis, the benefit of surgery here is questionable and maybe in the future there will be an increasing role for cryotherapy. Thank you.